Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, we're gonna do a little uranium. Uh, this is gonna be uranium versus some other asset. Uh, we're gonna show it in, in ratios. And then I'm gonna share it with everyone like you guys. So don't forget, give me a thumb up. Let's see how many thumbs, thumbs up we can get on this video. Uh, this is uranium specific. I'm here to help you guys out. And if you need further help on determining what companies to choose, look at the website below, Platinum Membership. Uh, that can help you. It's me running a website. You can follow exactly what I'm doing, why I'm picking certain companies. Uh, I look at fractals within the charts. Uh, the ones with larger fractals typically have larger uh, moves later on. Uh, we also look at things deeper than charts, uh, like speculating on what's going to have the largest uh, pounds in the ground reserve increases in this bull market. Um, that would give you the largest return on a mining company. Uh, so, you know, those are the things that I really look at. Uh, I've taken a couple of different things. I'm meshing things together uh, where I use fractal analysis and also reserves and valuations in the pounds in the ground and come to a conclusion of what could potentially be uh, the best performers. Also looking at developers where they can develop a, a uh, develop their asset into a mine, which then increases their pounds in the ground reserves as they get closer to a production company. Uh, so that is adding value to shareholders. That is what you need to know as an investor. Uh, and when these times are coming where basically we're in an energy crisis and money is going to flow into energy related assets, uh, natural gas, oil, and I think uranium. Now, why am I so bullish on uranium? I've got these ratio charts behind me. Let's just do a little bit of analysis and I'll kind of describe to you why I'm so bullish on uranium at this time. So let's dive in and I'll, I'll, I'll give you my financial opinion here. Uh, so this is URNM. I'm using URNM versus a whole bunch of different um, assets. Uh, this here is URNM versus XLE. XLE is an ETF. So URNM is an ETF. That's the uranium uh, ETF. And I'm dividing it by XLE, which is the, um, oh man, it's the oil and gas uh, explorers and produ uh, producers. So this is URNM ETF versus the oil and gas producers ETF. Uh, what we're trying to see is we're trying to see what is outperforming what. So we went from a period of outperformance of uranium, URNM, outperforming XLE from all the way from 2000 to the peak of 2021 of September. You would have been better off buying oil assets in this drawdown here in consolidation period. But guess what? We are breaking out to the upside of this. Uh, we did a retest move and now we're ready to, to move on up. What this is telling us is that URNM is probably statistic, you know, from a statistical basis standpoint, um, breaking out of this falling wedge, um, that we could go higher where URNM is outperforming XLE. Now, XLE could also be going up at the same time that URNM goes into, we'll call it ludicrous mode. Um, I'm hoping that happens. Doesn't mean it will happen. But it's sure looking good from the ratio perspective that URNM could go into what I consider to be called ludicrous mode. Um, looking at URNM to natural gas. Now, I'm going to back this thing out a little bit, get you guys some perspective here. Um, what we have here is the ETF URNM in relationship to natural gas, the commodity. Not the companies, but just the commodity itself. What we've seen is this nice, strong kind of support line down here, and we're starting to bounce on this support line and start to come on up. Natural gas has done crazy things. So we've basically uh, pulled on back uh, in natural gas here. Uh, what we want to do is we want to really start to pull up, break through this resistance line at about a uh, 1 to 17 ratio, about a 17 ratio, and then break all the way to the top here. What this is signaling to us is that we can see a big move in URNM in relationship to natural gas. And natural gas, I think, is going to go higher. So we're not running on a, on, on, on a flat um, playing field here. We're running uphill and absolutely dusting everyone else while running uphill against these other, we'll call it, um, competitors or other assets out there. 
So natural gas is going to be, I think, moving higher uh, because this is this is the United States natural gas. But at the same time, M is going to be running at a faster pace than that, um, increasing its value against something that is going up. And it could go up in a in a pretty decent fashion here, which means that M it, it could go into ludicrous mode. Ludicrous mode. Uh, we look at M XOP, another oil and gas exploration uh, ETF. We had a nice good outperformance from uh, 2020 all the way up till the peak of September 21. XOP, you know, it came out. Yeah, you know me if you know what I'm saying. Coming on down and it outperformed to the bottom here. Now, if you look, we are at very good valuations down here. Uh, basically coming down uh, into the support region where we came up, we pulled back to support. Now we're starting to break to the upside here. Are we going to go into ludicrous mode? I think XOP is going to go up, but URNM could go up at even a faster pace um, looking at it. So that's looking good. Uh, I've got URNM versus platinum. Uh, this guy looks like one massive pattern. We had a vast outperformance from the bottom of 2020. Uh, we peaked out, hit a couple of times here. And now we're putting in these massive candlesticks here. We've got higher lows against platinum. It's about to break to the upside. And I think uranium could do some, we'll call it ludicrous things. Looking at URNM versus the NASDAQ, we have, let me throw some trend lines in here, guys. We've got kind of a, a support line coming through here. Uh, we had a nice good support line there. And then I think what we've got here is kind of some resistance coming through here. Uh, much like platinum. So we're we're banging our head here, banging our head here, and we've got a nice good drive of large candlestick buying pressure coming right up against this resistance line where we could break to the upside. Uh, if we break this to the upside here, which could happen at any second, again, guys, I'm not trying to predict the future. I'm just saying that the market conditions are ripe for URNM to break to the upside and show us a whole new gear when we break out of this thing. What I mean by gear, the speed, at, the, the rate of increase that we appreciate against the NASDAQ, the rate of increase that we appreciate against all these other assets, it's finding another gear. It's, you know, we're going from third gear to fourth and we're going to catch fifth and sixth at some point. So we're, 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 we've got some really good buying pressure. It looks very strong. Uh, it looks very nice for uranium to, to have an outperformance against these other assets. URNM against uh, commodities in general. So uh, we throw a downtrend line on here. We'll create the pattern together. Downtrend line, much like oil. And if you look, you can see kind of at the bottom here that there's some. We'll kind of call it, kind of call it a little small tightening of this uh, falling wedge. We're breaking it to the up, uh, upside. I'm looking left to see what kind of resistance we've got. Now we've got some resistance through here that we're basically cutting through, like a hot knife, like a a hot samurai sword through butter. Uh, and what we got today was a really nice, strong move. Uh, this is on a weekly candlestick. We can go on the dailies here. This is the dailies. We're cutting through this resistance line today to the upside. We, we use this as multiple support resistance lines before, and we're starting to break through it. This is a huge positive development from a ratio perspective. So we could see vast outperformance of URNM in relationship to the overall commodity complex. So URNM is looking really good, looks explosive here. Now here's URNM to energy service companies. Uh, energy service companies is another spot that has great value. We are gonna have to get through a, a resistance area. And this resistance area, it's, it's a strong resistance area right where we're at. Uh, so if we can break through here, uh, URNM and, and break through this against the energy service companies, which remember, energy service companies are probably going to go higher here. They're another uh, undervalued asset, much like URNM. But we could break through this to the upside here and start outperforming that. We could see a vast outperformance of URNM in relationship to almost every single asset that's out there uh, and available to invest in. So URNM's looking good there. We've got uh, URNM to REMX. Now, this is kind of interesting here. We've got uh, URNM is basically trading in a sideways channel here. Uh, it's just moving sideways here. 
Uh, we've had some good uh, vast outperformance here in the in the short term. Uh, here's our kind of upper boundary here. Come on, take it. There we go. And here's our lower boundary. And what that means is that when it when we're at the lower boundaries, we want to be buying um, URNM when it's low coming up and REMX. But what this is kind of telling me uh, when looking at these two ETFs is that these ETFs are equally balanced, that they basically just go back and forth. So there could be some opportunities in REMX to also invest in because they're roughly the same. They don't. It's not really making any gains against REMX. So these are two very strong ETFs when compared to, uh, against each other. And here's URNM against copper. Um, this is kind of what it looks like here, uh, zoomed out. Let me uh, auto this here. We zoom into a, more of a weekly um, look at this. I can throw a trend line through kind of this guy here, somewhere in this vicinity. It's not a super strong one. We only have two contact points. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to kind of grab this guy, copy it, and see if it matches this one down here, which it basically does. Uh, so we're in this channel going up, and we could come up to this upper channel where URNM could outperform uh, COPX. So what does this all mean? It, it, what it means is that URNM is looking really strong. Uranium is looking really strong. I like that we're seeing these large volume, large big green candlesticks coming in uh, of buying pressure. The money's rotating into, to your, into uranium. So uh, this is looking fantastic, guys. I think um, you know now's the time to start looking at the companies that you like. Well, that should have been you should have been looking at the companies and buying it already, to be honest. But um, you can also look now. I still think the, that that it's at a good value, and looking at uh, uranium in relationship to other um, things, we'll we'll do that here real quick. Um, so looking at like UEX one, so that's the physical uranium futures prices uh, in relationship to say natural gas. And what we're seeing here of the actual commodity is that we are at a very low uh, level here where uranium is at a very, very good spot to be purchasing in relationship to natural gas. Um, last time we came on up, it was, you know, it's reached areas of maybe about one to 20 ratio. We're at one to 5.3, which means that even though natural gas was going, is it could potentially go up. Uranium could outperform natural gas at a ratio of about four times and uh, outperformance to the upside and hit the top of this valuation channel. Uh, so it'd be a 4x increase on top of natural gas, uranium, if it were to get into a really bullish type scenario and come back to the upper level or channel against natural gas. Uh, that is incredible in terms of how well valued uranium is uh, at this point and i think natural gas i'm using the henry hub natural gas price i think henry hubs has a big way to move up as well so you could see a huge move in uranium so what does this all mean so uh and i'll, I'll throw another chart up here real quick uh here is urnm in relationship to ux the, the, the futures pricing and this is uranium so you, the the etf versus uh, the future pricing. And what I see here is another vast kind of outperformance here uh, potential. I mean, let me zoom out here. Oh man, this looks good. This looks good. So basically we've got a support level uh, somewhere in this region here. Let me move it back up real quick. Uh, there's your support line. You, you, you break out, you come back and test, retest the support and now it's starting to move higher. So we're seeing URNM start to outperform UX1. What, what this is basically saying is that the, the uranium miners are going to outperform uranium, and uranium is priced super low in relationship to natural gas. So if natural gas is in the position to move on higher against all other assets, basically the arbitrage play between Europe and Asia and the Henry Hub price, that's going to that's gonna con basically converge together at some point uh, out in the future. But uranium gives you four times the leverage to that price move if historically we get that type of, of compression. So natural gas is a really good investment because I think it's one of the most reliable moves. 
with some of these companies, and the, and the companies provide leverage to the price of natural gas. On top of this, we've got uranium with the uranium mining companies that has leverage to the price of uranium, and then uranium has leverage to the price of natural gas, possibly. Remember, they're not; these things aren't directly connected, but it is somewhat loosely connected. So the ratio is telling us that uranium is cheap to natural gas. Natural gas, I think, is going higher. And then the mining companies are cheap to, to uranium, which means that uranium is cheap to all the other assets, the, the uranium mining companies. So we've got a lot of really cool things ahead of us in terms of, of potential and possibilities here. I'm getting pretty excited. Uh, if you guys need help with determining which companies you want, if you want even more leverage than URNM, the description link below, the Platinum membership can get you that, that leverage. Uh, I can go over some companies. We have question and answer sessions uh, on the weekends for the Platinum members. They can ask me about all these companies, and I am as free to communicate whatever I want, my opinion, uh, to you. Obviously, I can't give you advice. I can't tell you what to do, but I can give you my opinion. I can tell you what I would do and what I've done with my portfolio. You can also see my portfolio and all those things. So uh, I think that uranium is a very good opportunity right now. And I think uh, it's going to be probably all the other assets. Thumb up. Don't forget the thumb up. And uh, we'll catch you next time, guys. This is Finding Value.